G'day ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Draw with Jazza. I'm Jazza and this is the announcement for the theme of the first challenge of the month for 2017, the January challenge of the month. And before I jump into announcing the theme, I just want to remind anyone who missed the video from a couple of days ago, there's currently a sale at the jazzastudios.com shop. If you're interested, make sure to go check it out. There's 15% off of everything only for the next two weeks. So I highly recommend going there and checking out my eBooks, brushes, video courses, photo references and more because there's 15% off of everything. Any and all support is very gratefully received and the shop at jazzstudios.com is the most powerful way to support me, my family and this channel. The sale ends on the 16th of January and the last time I did a sale was almost two years ago. So go check it out while you get a chance. Shameless plugs out of the way. It's time for the theme of the January challenge of the month. And I've decided to do something a little different for this theme and I'm calling it the legend of the axe. A bunch of you will know that a couple of weeks ago I did a collab with the folks over at Punished Props where I designed an epic axe and they built it. It was an absolutely amazing collab, one of my favourite collabs that I've ever done and it was so cool to work with such talented people. If you want to see the video where I designed the axe or where they built the axe I'll put the links to all of those videos in the description but for this challenge of the month I am assigning you all the duty to give this axe a home. For the January 2017 challenge of the month, participants will be required to take the design of the axe presented with uh, links in the description to more references and uh, images of the axe, specifically this axe design right here. And you'll be required to take this axe design and give it a home through a visual narrative, a story that you create in your illustrated piece. Now you can go about this in a variety of ways and there are loads of different approaches you could take. You could have a much more environment centric piece. You can include other people and places, armies, other weapons. It can be an action scene or a really calm scene with one single character of your own design or it can be really sci-fi and techie or it can be something a little more steampunkish. It really is up to you but it does need to fit the visuals of the axe design and most importantly you need to tell a great story through the visuals of your piece. The other thing to remember is no matter how much epic fancy stuff you have going on in your illustration, the central theme, the central subject of your piece must be very clearly centered around this epic axe. As far as the axe design goes, you won't be left in the dark. The original design illustration, as well as a whole bunch of awesome photos taken of the prop built by the folks over at Punished Props can be found in a link in the description. You can check them out at your leisure, download them and use them as a reference. There's bound to be a bunch of different questions about the specifics of this challenge. I guess the only one I can anticipate might be regarding the size of the weapon. I would say keep it roughly to the size of the scale you can see in some of the reference photos where Bill is holding this weapon. You can, if you want in your illustration, push the axe size or scale to be just a little bit bigger or a little bit smaller, but don't go too extreme on either end. Keep it reasonably to the same scale that you can see in the images referenced in the description. So now on to the rules. To enter the challenge of the month, your piece must be uploaded to the newgrounds.com art portal and tagged with the word legendary axe, all one word to enter the open category, or B dash legendary axe, that's B hyphen legendary axe, to enter the beginner category. You cannot enter both categories, you can only enter one of those categories, so make sure to only tag your piece with one of those words. Basically the beginner category is there for people who are new to art or very young or inexperienced, so if you're not a real beginner at art, please don't enter that category for the sake of winning a prize. For additional help or information on how to submit to the newgrounds.com art portal and enter the challenge of the month, again, there is a link in the description and on the info page. There is to be a maximum of one entry per person for this competition. And of course, there is to be no nudity or sexually explicit material. You can have a little bit of blood and a little bit of violence, but nothing to ridiculous. Keep it PG-13. Your final submission must include a link in the description which leads to a work in progress image or video of your piece being created. Essentially which shows and proves that you are the original creator of your artwork and submission. That link can go to places like Newgrounds, YouTube, Imager, wherever, as long as your final submission is on Newgrounds but the work in progress image or video is linked clearly in the description. And last but not least, your entry must be submitted by the 
deadline, which is Saturday, the 21st of January. So now we're going to move on to the prizes and entries to the challenge of the month will be judged on three core parameters. The first being the technical execution or the quality of your artwork. The second will be on how you effectively use visuals to create a narrative or story around this axe, this weapon. You can put whatever you want in the description and tell the story through text, but I'm going to be completely honest. I won't really be reading much of that stuff until I get to finalists. I'm really going to be looking at the visuals. So you want to tell the best visual story possible. And then third, you will be judged on the creativity and ambition of your entry. So now on to prizes, starting with a beginner category, the runner up of the beginner category will receive an item of their choosing from the jazzastudios.com shop. The jazzastudios.com shop shop is a place where at very affordable prices I sell ebooks, reference packs, brushes, video courses as I mentioned and more and once again I will plug the fact that it's 15% off of everything for the next couple of weeks. Oh and because it's the start of the year I will be updating the artwork and tutorial archives to include all of the artwork and the tutorial reference files from the last year so that will be updated in the next week or two. Once again the link is in the card and in the description to the shop and all of their products I highly recommend checking it out it's a huge support to this channel. And the winner of the beginner category will receive a Stillman and Burn 5.5 by 8.5 Epsilon series soft cover sketchbook. They'll also receive a signed copy of my new book Draw with Jazza Creating Characters, my guide to inventing your own characters, creating character designs, and most of all going through the design process and refining your designs to end up with something you're really happy with. The winner of the beginner category will also receive an item of their choosing from the jazzastudios.com shop. Now onto the prizes of the open category. Category. The winner and runner-up of the open category are selected from a pool of finalists that I put together and all of the finalists will be receiving a free copy of my custom Photoshop brushes which I use for absolutely everything. In fact all of my own ebooks and my aforementioned creating characters how to draw book all have their covers and internal artwork created using my custom Photoshop brushes. The runner-up of the open category will receive a signed copy of the Illustrator's Guidebook Special Edition as well as a brand new Stillman and Burn 9x12 Epsilon series soft cover sketchbook and an item of their choosing from the jazzastudios.com shop. And then last but not least, the winner of the open category will be receiving a medium Wacom Intuos Pro tablet. The Wacom Intuos Pro has a huge amount of pressure sensitivity, wireless control, efficiency at your fingertips with their awesome touch controls. It's cross-platform compatible, easy to accessorize, and as far as balancing affordability and professional power, the Intuos Pro series is absolutely the way to go and I highly recommend them so make sure to check out Wacom and all of their products links to them and their shop in the description. The first prize winner will also receive an item of their choosing from the jazzastudios.com shop. The first place winners of both the beginner and open categories will be receiving one year's full supporter status on newgrounds.com for free which grants ad free enjoyment of the entire website, username changes, secret content, exclusive previews and more. I want to take a moment to thank the sponsors of the challenge of the month going into 2017. I'm so excited to be working with all of these people again. These are products and services that I can't recommend enough. I use them, I love them, and I recommend them to you. I'll put the links in the description to go check out all of them. Also make sure to check out the Newgrounds forum thread in the description where you can share your work in progress pieces and share ideas with each other. And of course, share your work in progresses and final artworks on social media with all of us using the hashtag legendary ad. So there you have it ladies and gentlemen that is the theme for the January challenge of the month better get cracking because you only have a couple of weeks to uh, get your piece in and done. As I mentioned the collab I did with the folks over at Punish Props was one of the more satisfying collabs I've done and so satisfying in fact that having seen the acts that I designed uh, being made by them which again I'll link to in the description was just such an amazing experience and it made me hungry for more and I can't wait to see what you guys can come up with to give this epic act a home and a story. Part of me thinks that I picked this as the theme of the challenge of the month because I'm a bit of a completionist and having seen the development of the design into a tangible object makes me really want to see it in a universe of its own where it has a story and makes sense. So I can't wait to see how that goes. Speaking of being a completionist, I did plug the shop at the beginning and the middle of this video so I obviously should take the opportunity to plug it at the end. I, I know I'm very plug heavy at the moment but as I mentioned in the video I uploaded a couple of days ago, ad revenue on YouTube just drops out of nowhere uh, in January 
And this sale is a huge way to counteract that and support uh, my family and channel going forward and make a whole bunch of the content and things that we have planned moving forward possible. I always put a huge amount of care and effort into the products I put out there and I make sure to make them as cheap and affordable as possible. So I really hope that any of you who decide to support me by getting any of those products really enjoy them. I would love your feedback of course on what you liked or didn't like about the products and of course what you'd like to see in the Jazza Studio shop moving forward. That is it for this video ladies and gentlemen and as I mentioned in the other shop plug video thing I am taking a week off from now uh, to work on some upgrades for the channel and as soon as I come back which like I said is a week from now you're going to see a bit of a difference in the edits and the content I put out there. I'm going to hopefully really level up the grade of the the content that I'll be putting out there and I'm really excited to make 2017 as epic as possible. Thank you so much for watching and being a part of this awesome community. Good luck with your entry to the challenge of the month and until next time I'll see you later. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe to my channel for new content every week. If you want to support my work and get some goodies for yourself, head over to my store for archives, ebooks, digital brushes, video courses and more. If you enjoyed this video, here's a link to another video you might like from this channel. And if you want even more, make sure to check out all my behind the scenes action on my vlog channel, Daily Jazza. That's it for now. Thanks for joining the arty party and until next time, I'll see you later.